Hello and welcome to my garage. My name is Philip Cake and you may remember me from such mega video YouTube hits as home sanitizing products, what to use and what not to use, and the Alameda Top 5. Uh, I'm with Compass Real Estate here in the city of Alameda in the East Bay. And so one of the things I've been thinking about, about and I know a lot of people have been thinking about, and that is, of course, staying safe during this global pandemic. Um, I am wearing some single-use latex gloves. I actually got a box of these at a flea market, I don't know, maybe a couple months ago, uh, because I would use them for working on my bicycle. But these are becoming in short supply. And so obviously uh, our healthcare workers and people should get these first, but I had a box of them. Uh, and I had, been re I had been cleaning them and reusing them. And my wife, who is a healthcare worker, said, this is not really what they are intended for. And so I've been reading up on it. And certainly what happens is sanitizing products, alcohol are very harsh. And so they degrade the gloves and there could be micropores or other things that are created when you wash these gloves and reuse them. So I think uh, we don't know what, you know, if the virus could get through a compromised glove or not. These also tear easily. So reusing them is problematic. Um, and so basically we shouldn't be doing it. I know many people are just because they are in such short supply. And so I thought about uh, other methods that you could have gloves for, and in particular gloves that are intended to be reused. And so of course, you could use standard kitchen gloves. You know, when you go out shopping, these may not be very attractive. They're also kind of floppy and they don't uh, provide a lot of dexterity. Something that I keep around out here in my garage for handyman projects is a pair of these work gloves. I have a pair for painting. Um, although these are kind of a rubber coated gloves, they have a fabric back. So they're not waterproof, but the, the rubber coating provides a lot of dexterity and there's a lot of uh, good mobility in the gloves as well. And so one of the things I thought about is ways that I could sanitize these gloves after I've used them so that I could keep reusing them for something else shortly after. And I was in the shower and I needed to replace my shampoo and conditioner. And so I had two empty bottles of that. And so what I did is I took the shampoo bottle and I pushed some, put some dish soap in this and I took the conditioner bottle and I cleaned that and I just put straight water in that. And so one of my little hacks is that you can take this soap solution and you can rub it on your gloves. Uh, if you've been out shopping, when you get back to your car, you could keep this at your car and then you could basically clean these gloves at your car. Now you don't even necessarily need the water, but I did the water anyways. So you could then rinse off the gloves and you could keep a paper towel, roll of paper towels at your car so you could dry them off. And then you could either do one of two things. You could dr drive back home with these gloves on or you could take them off. And what I'm going to do is keep a little reusable shopping bag in my car where I can place the gloves and also where I can keep the solution of soap and water. And of course, when I get back home, I am going to wash my hands again because we want to stay safe. Uh, unfortunately, some of that comes through the fabric of the gloves, but still. So there's a way to have gloves on when you're shopping or out doing errands, and then you can reuse them and still sanitize them. So the other thing is that I watched a video recently from a healthcare worker about food and groceries and how to sanitize your groceries when you bring them back into your house. And so what I have here in my garage is I have a table that I have sanitized this table and I keep this as my clean space. And what I do is I unload the groceries from my bags up onto this space. And so here's a place where you could reuse the kitchen gloves. And so in that video, what he showed was taking paper towel and what I've got in this bottle is a bleach solution and a little bit of soap. So this is mixed up in the proportions according to CDC guidelines. And what I do is I wipe down each package of food and I have a laundry basket here. I have sanitized 
every part of this laundry basket, especially the, the handles, but the interior and the exterior of the basket. I put my food into that basket after I have wiped down all of the packaging. And I know this kind of seems like this is over the top, right? But the thing is, many people might have touched this, uh, these food products on the shelves, and you just don't know who has, and that's exactly how we know the virus spread. So I take the food from this area, I put it in this uh, laundry basket, and then I take that into the house. So there's my little hack for ways to deal with your groceries as well. And then, of course, what I do is I take off these gloves, and I will leave them out here. And of course, when I go back in, even when I bring these back in, I will, of course, wash my hands. Something up else that's up a lot, quite a bit in social media and out in the world is masks. And if you can, uh, well, not just reuse a mask, but I think at the beginning of this, there was a lot of question as to the effectiveness of masks in terms of the disease, getting the disease. And what they had, what I was reading at the time was that the masks don't really help you as much from getting the disease, but they do help you from spreading it because they prevent the aerosolized particles from our breath and our spit and everything from going out into the world and infecting somebody else. So this is about the health of the community. If I'm healthy, you're healthy. And if you're healthy, I'm healthy. And I see more people wearing masks now. I think some of the stigma is going away. I think that's good because what I've been reading is that the countries that have a high percentage of mask use have also some of the lowest infection rates, Japan being one of them, that they are a culture that is not afraid to wear a mask. And so that's reduced the infection rate. Now these are supposed to be single use surgical masks. I had some N95 masks left over when I got some because of all the fires that were happening up north. Uh, and so the question again is protective equipment that's meant to be used once and that is currently in short supply and should you even use it again? I did read that if you wash surgical masks or even N95 masks, that it decreases the effectiveness of the mask. So then the question is, is some protection better than none? And how should you handle that? The other thing as I've been reading is that the virus can live for 48 to 72 hours on a surface like this. So what I've done is I've taken the mass and I've put a number here. This is a P1 and this is a P2. So I know if I've worn the one, what I'm doing is taking, I have a bottle of alcohol and I spray this mask really good on the outside and the inside because you're often touching the outside of the mask. I can then put that mask aside, not touch it for a couple days and use another mask. And hopefully the amount of mask that I do need when I'm going out into the world won't exceed, you know, the uh, drying time that we know that the virus will die in. Uh, I also have the N95 mask. So when I'm in my house, I don't need to wear a mask, but when I go out in the world, I generally do wear a mask. So this is not necessarily a CDC approved uh, method of sanitizing a mask. Uh, I would always encourage people to go back to the CDC website, but I think uh, what I've seen from people is that, um, well, basically these, these things are in short supply. And so we have to learn how to use them effectively, safely, and we have to kind of improvise in this time to protect ourselves and our loved ones. So uh, another thing is that I see a lot of people, unfortunately, a sad, sad state that is happening is people are throwing their single use gloves on the ground in the shopping centers and out on Park Street here in our shopping district. It's really too bad. I wish people weren't doing that. They were more conscientious and throwing them in the garbage can. Uh, some of those have been closed up, but regardless, it's not something that I enjoy seeing. Um, anyways, those are some little hacks, life tips and a rant from myself. I hope this video is helpful. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.